good morning welcome back to another video welcome to the channel if you see me for the first time my name is chris i'm a landscape photographer from the uk and today i'm out in the woods with a canon 7d and a 90 millimeter macro lens from tamron the idea today is just to look see if the first early signs of spring are around i've already seen some snowdrops so i'm going to dive straight in and start taking some photos of some little white snowdrops with the 7d and the tamron macro lens let's go Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Alright, so I've got the first shot of this snowdrop set up. I, I've got the tripod. All the event and everything. I've got a little a little USB light on a mini tripod next to the snowdrop, just casting some warm side light onto it. Um, managed to focus on the front petal of the snowdrop. So some settings wise, we're at have a look. F10, 160th of a second, and ISO 400 using a two second timer. And there is the first image. So I'll throw that on the screen for you to see. And we'll go find what else to take with uh, my first experience of a proper macro lens. And initial impressions are, I quite like it. Alright, so please just excuse the overexposed sky in this shot, but I like the texture in this grass, alright? So you've got all this dry grass that has been blown by the wind in this direction, but it's all in little clumps. Um, just a bit over my shoulder over there, there is a little group of trees clustered together. And just in front of that, there is a little area of like green grass sort of sticking up in the front. I quite liked that, so I've set up a composition using the 7D and the macro lens. Now, just because a lens is a macro lens, it doesn't mean you have to take macro only photographs with it, does it? It's, it's essentially, it's, a, it's an f2.8 medium telephoto 90 millimeter lens. So I'm gonna go for, go for a shot like that. I'll just show the versatility of this macro lens. So let me get myself set up and I'm gonna show you this shot and we'll, we'll see how it works. And, and hopefully, hopefully it looks quite nice. All right, so I've got this photograph composed now, um, and just in time to take the photograph, the sun's come out and it's creating some nice little glistening highlights on the grass in front of me, which I quite like. Um, I've decided to shoot this vertically, and I'm also using a relatively fast aperture of f3.5. Um, it's giving us a nice fast shutter speed of, what, a two thousandth of a second at ISO 400. I'm still cranking the ISO up. It is a bit windy and just want to just wanna eliminate any sort of wind blare or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take this photograph. So f3.5. I saw 400, two thousandth of a second, and there's that photograph taken. So I'll throw that on the screen for you to see, and we'll go find the next one from uh, from today's video. It's quite pleasant now the sun's come out, I'll be honest. It was a bit grey and a bit wet and a bit windy earlier on, so I'm feeling good now. So as a bit of a, a, a tangent to this video, um, I often do coastal photography, which means I get wet and sandy. So what I did yesterday, I bought a pair of wellies. And to be honest with you, they've been a revelation. So I just want to take a minute and just talk about 
my experience using this macro lens. Today, this is the first time I've actually been out and used a dedicated macro lens. I've, I've used lenses with extension tubes and kind of faked minimum focus distance, but you don't get the true one-to-one -one magnification really doing that. So it's generally been a nice change of pace. I've not had to worry too much about natural light and, and sunrises and colour and skies and things like that because I have an LED light with me, so I've got the capability to throw artificial light in there where needed. And I've had to change my mindset a little bit away from landscape photography and think more about the macro side of it and it's while it's been a challenge i've actually quite enjoyed using this thing so i'm generally considering picking one of these up like i said at the start of the video this isn't my lens it's not dave's lens it's actually dave's wife's lens so thank you liam for lending me this lens to use today it's been a it's been an eye opener really i'm i'm generally considering getting one for myself and i think we might be leaning towards some macro photography on this channel now and um, but yeah it's just been a nice change of pace without having to rely too much on the conditions and just slow down and and be able to think things through without having to worry about things changing too much. I mean, it's a bit windy today. I don't know, you may have noticed there may be some wind noise. There's a lot of blustery, blustery stuff around, which hasn't, hasn't made some of the photographs maybe ideal. So we're going to head off into a bank of trees. There's a bank of trees off on some right outside. We're going to head in there, maybe a little bit more shelter from the wind, and there may be some more sort of static macro shots to take, not things blowing around on leaves and, and branches and things like that. <laughs> so somewhat unfortunately the wind has really picked up in this last few minutes my intention was to come into these woods find a couple of macro subjects to take a photograph of and end the video then but the way the wind's just blowing now it's everything I'll, I'm, I'm sort of wanting to take a photograph of is um like he's doing this and it's just not going to work so I think I'm going to end the video here so if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up it really does help the video and it brings new viewers to my channel and you can always hit the subscribe button below and you'll see more nonsense from me in the future so today has been today's been a lot of fun i've enjoyed myself it's been nice to get back out with the camera again conditions haven't been perfect it is the back end of winter and we've had some had some real storms blowing across the uk in this last week so with that being said until the next time it's peace and goodbye <laughs>